Hey guys, right now I'm just at the filling station but we're currently on our way to the Halal Food Festival in Birmingham. So if you've not heard of it before, it's actually this um, kind of every so often event that happens and it usually like rotates around the different cities and it's just so much halal food like all the famous spots and there's also entertainment live chefs live cooking demonstrations entertain i think i just said entertainment um but there's like so much going on so many different food stores this is actually my first time going to the halal food festival and i'm really excited i've got a weekend pass with a fast track so i can just get straight into it and i'm so so excited i'm going to show you um because they have a lot of different events i think there's one in manchester coming up soon as well it's gonna be a vibe i'm gonna eat so much food so this one is definitely for the foodies um but yeah follow me along to go halal food festival in birmingham So we've made it to the NEC Birmingham. It's so much bigger than I expected. Like the car park spaces are just insane. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but we literally took so long just to find what car park we were in. Um, so yeah, be prepared for kind of hunting for your car. Um, right now we're just walking into the exhibition. I've got the tickets on my phone, so I haven't needed to print them off. Um, we have fast track so let's see how that's gonna work um, but yeah it's getting really busy oh we're right here that's not bad at all yeah look at it is looking very busy i can't lie so yeah we're just gonna go and get inside the main thing right now but there's so much going on outside as well which is really nice um, but yeah we need to go and get ourselves inside we're trying to figure out how to actually get into the festival because there's not that many signs as to like what we actually need to do but we think we go in through that door there and just like go around um, it's probably to disperse the crowds a little bit because I feel like if if the entrance was too close to like if there wasn't a bit of a walk I just I don't know what I'm saying but right, I'm just gonna shut up we've made it inside and we were right you basically have to go through like security first and then they check your bags and stuff and then you come inside and there's so many people here I can't lie I did not think it was going to be this busy but it actually is like it is we're not even in the main bit yet and it's still so busy skipping all of this like literally we just skipped that whole queue Hi. so yeah we've just come to like a super mini queue right now hi guys you're playing Perfect, there we go. Okay, yeah, here for the full weekend, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is this one here? You're good, yeah? Okay. Two, 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 yeah. Two, two, two. we have made it inside it looks insane and we skipped the whole queue which is just like i'm gassed i won't stop going on about that. you want a coconut water yeah there's so many different stalls i'm so conscious of like getting people's face in but there definitely will be people's faces in this vlog but yeah it's actually really spread out as well I can see this is a culture stage so there's probably going to be something on on going on as well once they got a whole butcher in here that is so cool oh should we go outside yeah 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 we'll come back in here yeah we'll eat first so this kind of gives you an overview of how it's looking and how big it is there's loads of different stalls there's shawarma, fried chicken, mocktail lab, 
fat buns. We have that in Leicester, so yeah, probably wouldn't eat that. that from Little dessert shops from Leicester. Malik Butchers, I'm sure that's Leicester as well. Um, but the, the queues, I'm not going to lie, they're not that bad. Like, considering the Dutch Fisherman burgers and halloumi and there's loads of places to sit down and eat and then should we start from there and just go down yeah and we get yeah. whatever we like yes we just, i will just share one thing from each place next so we're just gonna see what we should go and eat now but this is our like my little weekend wristband so it's a cool weekend. guys mr t's is here should we get something? Oh, should we get his gulab jam thing? We'll try it after, yeah. <laughs> this is the menu for my box. We're just trying to figure out what we want. Oh look, nuggets. There's wings, nugget wings, but you don't really like wings. <laughs> trying to decide between Japanese. There's savouries by Sara. That's really famous on Instagram. And there's a um, Caribbean place there. I love Caribbean food, so I think I'm going to go Caribbean. for Caribbean. 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 Someone tell me what it is in the comments. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to go get. Yeah. I think I might get like a jerk box. It's like Dullin. Yeah, this is like a Dullin stall. <laughs> I think this is the queue. Let me see what. Fried jerk chicken nuggets, ginger beer. Oh, I thought that said beef. But uh, served with jerk fries, coleslaw, jerk barbecue sauce. I think I'm gonna get that. Do you think it's halal? Yeah. <laughs> it's halal. Oh, of course it's halal. not me thinking this might not be halal. It's the halal. Why do you get jerk? Oh no. Oh, what mango, coconut, honey fried chicken yeah, yeah, strips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks good. That looks amazing. Cream soda, but they batter it in like. Wait, the mixed one has a bit of both. Get that mix. Mix box, yeah. It's gonna be big though. Yeah, I'm gonna get the mix box. Oh, no, you don't want to call it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to eat this, literally. This is my food. Obviously, I'm gonna do a taste test for you guys, but I thought I'd just show you before. Right now, I'm just in the queue to get one of these fruit and ice mocktails, and there's, we're also waiting for a burger from that stall over there. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to get Peach on the Beach and for him, I'm probably going to get Passionately Late because that sounds really nice. So they're quite cheap, so I thought I'll get two. This burger looks insane. This burger is from Builder Burger over there. And what did you get? Fried onions as an extra, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it's a smash burger with tea patties, cheese, fried onions and burger sauce. Yeah, and it's from that place there. And now we're just at the Mocktail place. Uh, it's called fruit and ice. Yeah. I'm gonna get the you want to teach him you and he's gonna get the lychee berry. So I've changed our mind. You wanna peek at me the big thing. They also do these desserts here, but I'm getting them too. We finally got our meals. So we got our mocktails. They look so good as well. This is my peach one. And this is the uh, lychee. Is it lychee? Lychee berry. Yeah, yeah so what should I try first? Uh, the food? Yeah, your food. Okay. So, this is my food. Show them the food, please. Now I'm just having to dig around. Oh, use your hand. For the fork, huh? For Asian, use your hand. <laughs> no, I'm going to be civilised. Jokes, it is civilised to eat with um, your hands. To eat with your hands. Okay, so this is a chip. So basically I lied to you guys. I actually had a chip before this so I really liked it. Why did you tell him that? Sorry, I just couldn't keep it from you. The chip is so good. Now I can't even remember what I got because the, the amount of stuff we've had to get before we could eat this. So look, I'm just dipping it in. I don't even know what this is. Do you think it's chicken? Yeah, it's just fried chicken tenders. Mm. Nice. They said that it was fried in some kind of, was it root beer or something? No, that, so half of it is root beer, half of it is cream soda. I can definitely taste that. Can you? Yeah. It's 10 10. Like really 10 10. I don't know what this is. 
uh, no, ginger beer and uh, cream Yeah, it's so good. You have to try it. I've never tasted anything like it before. Now. This is the one that was in, I think, the mango thing. Wow. This is like one of the best meals I've had. I'm really? not even lying. Why don't people fry stuff in ginger beer more often? No, or cream soda more often. It's so good. Let me have a drink now. That's a bobo on it. It's not that cold. I didn't expect that many popping balls to go in my mouth like that. But yeah. That is delicious. This is my favorite, this chicken. Like, I need to know the name of that place because it was, it's so good, you have to try it. guys I completely forgot to film an outro for the vlog but I'm just here to tell you that the event was amazing it went so smoothly it was so good there was so much going on so many activities everything was thought about the organizers absolutely smashed it and it was such a privilege to be there and experience it it was such good vibes the weather was good it was like the perfect you know event and I know how much hard work it takes to put on an event like that. So yeah, it was great. Um, I know they have two more events coming up. So one's in Manchester and there's one in Victoria Park in Leicester. So make sure you grab your tickets. I'll put the link to buy the tickets in the description. I definitely recommend um, buying Fast Track um, because it just makes your life so much easier, but just for a little bit extra. Um, but I leave you guys to decide. But yeah, conclusion was the event was amazing. And yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and leave a like and also a comment of what you thought.